Let's assemble this portable gas barbecue, perfect for camping. And uh, this one works with a um, portable propane uh, gas tank, the, the Coleman gas tanks designed for camping. So this one is a 12,000 BTU. 12,000 BTU uh, portable barbecue and I got this from Lobla but they're pretty much all similar. So let's open it up and assemble it. Manuals, the grill, the protective plate on top of the uh, burners. It comes with its own tool set, screwdriver and uh, all the screws and bolts. This is the support, the other support that goes on both sides. That's the burner with the automatic igniter right over here. The handle with the igniting bob button regulator other handles I'll keep these for later. The cover has a thermometer. Not very thick metal. Uh, it'll do. the bottom part with the you know locking mechanism so here you have a illustrated parts list right over here and the hardware list make sure to read all the safety instructions and we're gonna start by uh, looking uh, I'll look into the assembly instructions and start the uh, assembly so instruction number one make sure you have all the parts before you begin and then it says that assembly time will take about 20 minutes so let's begin so I recommend um, taking your hardware and uh, it's written by the letters and just go gently open up each little place by cutting it maybe with an exacto knife and you will get the letters corresponding to the items that you'll be needing and once everything is exposed you can start working with them first part we're gonna install the hinges and uh, it comes uh, this way so you will have to separate it and then take the lower part of the hinge align it with the body and then use a um, bolt on this side and on this side a washer a wash uh, a lock wash and a nut the small uh, nuts 
and then you do that with all four holes right over here so that's the first part the lower hinge this uh, washer wash knot and then a knot so once I place the uh, both lower hinges I will then tighten them uh, use the screwdriver and the wrench do the same thing for this side so for the lower hinges we use the the BB um, the DD and the CC now for we're gonna put the next step is to put the burner all right and the burner has to go basically through the right side uh, bottom the, there's a hole for the burner tube to go through right here and then you're gonna put this in there align it with this hole over here and then use use the uh, bolt in FF um, a washer in HH and a wash uh, not lock knot uh, lock wash sorry GG so the order is uh, the bolt the lock wash and the washer and then align it and then tighten the burner to the bottom part of the bar the bottom body of the barbecue and then use your screwdriver to tighten it so now you have your burner installed and then you have to uh, screw on the regulator so you basically just put it there and then turn it with your fingers That's it, and it's uh, free pivoting. Next, we will be installing the heat plate support along with the handle. So I'll start with the left side and then do the right side. Uh, very simple. So here you just insert the handle. The bolts are already there. You insert this, and then you use the um, HH washer GG lock wash and then a nut uh, I, I. So, so grab your hardware washer lock wash and then the nut and then tighten it and repeat that for all four sides oh yeah there are three handles so one of them I already installed here um, the one on the right hand side is gonna be the one with the igniter so the other one that doesn't have a cable that you keep it for the lid so once the handles are done and the one with the um, igniter you can connect this to the igniter which I'll do that later so now we're gonna install the legs and uh, first is the one with the uh, instructions and that one will go on the right side and then we will put the other one on the left side Each leg has four places to um, to screw it, so you'll take a BB bolt, CC lock wash, DD uh, washer, and an EE uh, nut. So here, the best way to do is put your uh, barbecue, the bottom part, on the edge of a table, and then uh, put the bolt on top, and reach with your hand underneath to put 
the washer, lock wash, and then the nut. And repeat for all four sides here and then the all four sides on the other side. So once you installed one side, then you can use that as a support. Uh, you don't have to go on the edge of the table. You can just put it sideways and then take the other leg. And then you're able to easily put the, uh, the second leg. So from underneath the bolt, then the washer, the lock, wash and then the nut and then repeat with all other three sides so once your legs are supported plug in your ignition uh, cable into the igniter and uh, that one is uh, now working making a spark. Uh, the legs are foldable to make it uh, easy to carry. And the next step is to put the, the burner plate. So this plate here with just, you know, you nothing to bolt it, it just sits on top of the supports. And then your beautiful new grill. Next step, the lid. So you're gonna put the handle, and uh, again, washer, um, HH lock wash GG, and uh, the the nuts II. Simple and easy. And then tighten it. Now we're gonna install the top part of the hinge with uh, the remaining of the the bolts, washer, wash lock, and uh, the nuts. So it has a little lip that goes in there. Okay, so now we're going to align the lower hinge and top hinge holes. And then insert the pin and then our pin and lock it in, in place.
So last step is uh, you have a grease plate here, receptacle. You can insert that in there. And uh, you can wash that after use. Get rid of the grease. After remove all stickers gently before using it so it doesn't stick further on it or burn. Just go gently, do your best. If it doesn't come off all very well, then I recommend using like a um, goo remover. So I took my time to clean it nice and clean because you don't want to leave any. Once you start burning it, it's going to be worse. And all we need to do now is to test it. So grab a propane bottle and uh, do this outdoors. Don't do it inside. Don't run this barbecue indoors. So I'm going to just make sure it's closed first. So it says uh, lock. And gently turn it. Tighten it nice. And then that's it. You have low, medium, high. And uh, now it's working. I'm gonna turn it off because I'm indoors. And I'll test it out tonight with some food. That's it. Hope you enjoy it. And I hope these uh, assembly instructions help you. And this is perfect barbecue for camping, picnic, or even on your boat.